Today I'm going to cover algebraic representation. I'll be doing a series of videos on algebraic manipulation, so I thought that I should have a video um, that summarizes what algebraic representation is. So this is the first thing you learn when you learn algebra. Okay, that is it's like the rules of algebra, okay, or how you express algebra. So the first one that I've written here is a times b is a b. So in the future when we see algebraic terms, okay, so these things are called terms, okay. So in the future when we see terms, we wouldn't see them in this form, like a times b, okay. You would just see them as a b, okay. Or like in the second point, we have a times a, okay. So a times a is not a a, okay. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Because, you can imagine if we have 100, about 100 of these, right? We would be writing forever, a, 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 hundreds of these, okay? So, what we do is that, there are two a's here, right? So we write two on the top right of the uh, variable. So, for example, if I have three of these, a times a times a, instead of writing two, I would write three, okay? So that is for the second point. Now for the third point, uh, it should be something a little bit more familiar because you learn this with numbers. For example, 1 divided by 5 is actually the fraction 1 over 5, right? So it's the same thing for variables. So a divided by b is the same as a over b as a fraction, okay? 4 is uh, important, okay? Just like, okay, they are all kind of important, but 4 I think is... Uh, one of the more important ones. So the thing here is, you know that a plus a plus a is 3a. So sometimes you will get confused between this one and this one. So make sure you uh, can identify them, okay? This is addition and this is multiplication. When you multiply the same variable, you get a square, a cube, a to the power of 4, a to the power of whatever number, okay? Here, addition, the number is in front, okay? So, uh, I think of it as though they're objects. So, for example, this is one apple plus another apple plus another apple. So, in total, I have three apples. So, it's three apples, okay? So, similarly, if I have ten of these, it would be simply ten A, okay? So, another way to express this is like this. It, it links back to point number one, right? A times B is AB. Three times A is three A, okay? So, uh, I'll, I'll write some examples so you can get the hang of it. So, for example, let's have 2x plus 3x, okay? So, if I were to change this uh, problem into objects instead of variables, so, for example, I say 2 apples plus 3 apples. Should be very straightforward. 5 apples, right? But, let me just show you another way. So, another way to see it is 2x is understood as x plus x. This is 2x, right? Now, 3x is x plus x plus x. Here is 3x. When you add them up, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5x, okay? So, um, the same goes for subtraction. Okay, so if I have 5, okay, maybe I'll use 10x minus 3x, I would get 7x. It's the same thing, okay? So let's say I have 10 apples and I lost 3 apples, I will have 7 apples left. Same logic, okay? So, the other thing that I want to talk about is what if you see something that looks like this. 5a squared plus 2a squared. So don't be stunned by the a squared here, okay? The thing is, you have to see it as though they are the same thing is like apples and apples. As long as they're identical, you can just add them up. It is 7a squared. Okay? So, what if... So, this begs this question. What if I have this? Let's say I have three terms, okay? So, I see... Oh, yeah. Um, They're all a, right? It's all one variable. So, can I just kind of add them all up? You can't, okay? Because while this is identical to this, this is not. So, you can add those that are identical, okay? Those are th that have the same, uh, 
variable, basically a square. Okay, like a square can add with a square. You cannot add a square with a, it's just different, okay? So here, this would be 6a squared plus 2a. So this is, for now, um, the simplest it can get, okay? So in the next video, I'll talk about factorization, where you can simplify this further. But for now, um, just focus on this, okay? This is the best you can get. Okay, so another thing I would like to talk about actually is about uh, point 0.4. So if I have a plus a plus a is 3a, what if I change one of the variables, right? a plus a plus b, okay? What can you do? So remember, it's similar to the previous uh, problem that I mentioned. Similar variables, you can add them up. a plus a is 2a. If it's different, I'm sorry, there's nothing you can do. You just have to write it out like this, okay? So this is the simplest form. Okay. So I'll just like touch on uh, a few more things very quickly. So usually, they will give you a longer expression. So let's say there are four terms, okay? So I will use this side, 3a squared plus 8a minus 5a squared minus 5a. Okay, so here I have four terms, right? So one thing that you should learn how to do is to cut your expression into the terms. Basically what I mean is, for example, I'll draw a box here and I'll draw another box here like this. So you can see I split into four boxes, okay? So you must remember that when you split into your boxes, the sign, which is the plus minus sign, must be before the term, okay? So you don't cut it in such a way where the sign is after a term. That's not how it works, okay? So you might be thinking, oh, the first term is missing a sign. So by default, if it's not a minus sign in front, we understand this as a positive, okay? So the wonderful thing about this is that you can rearrange the sign however... I mean, rearrange the sign. You can rearrange the boxes however you want. So I can write it like this. So let's say I... I shift it here, so I can write it like this, plus 8a minus 5a. So basically, I've reordered this a little bit. I've shifted the third box um, to the second place, right? So this helps in simplifying because I'm grouping the like terms together. So here I have a squared, and here I have a squared, here I have a, here I have a. Whereas previously was a squared a, a squared a. Um, when you get good at this, you don't have to rearrange it because you should be able to see directly how to add and subtract. But for now, we will just order them first, then we proceed with calculating the value. So 3a minus 5. I mean 3a squared minus 5a squared. So it's basically 3 minus 5. It's negative 2. So remember, add the a squared behind. 8 minus 5 is 3a. Okay? So this is uh, for this question. So I'll do just one last one. Uh, basically also four terms. A little bit different. So if I have 5x plus 4y minus 2x plus 8y. So just to expose you to shifting things around, that's all. So I can do this without drawing the boxes. If you need to draw the boxes, you draw the boxes. So I will shift 5x. I'll shift 2x. Yeah, minus 2x. And then I have plus 4y, and then plus 8y. So as you can see, I've grouped the like terms together. So 5 minus 2, 3x. 4 plus 8, 12y. So this is the simplest way you can express it for now, okay? Until we learn how to factorize. So these are the main things, the basic ones. I will talk about... Um, fractions, okay, in the future, in one of the later videos, but for now, um, try to get the basics down. If, you're in, if you already know this, then it's very good, so you'll be ready for the next video. So that's all I want to cover today. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.